Hey you guys, this is Anne Marie, Bold Girl Will Travel, and here is my latest Airbnb review. And I'm showing you the place that I'm staying in Tobago, West Indies. I'm staying in Bonacore, Tobago, Crown Point to be exact. And this is an Airbnb that I will be in for a week. It is a 10 to 12 minute walk to the beach from here. It's small, but pretty good for my needs. It is called Ram Saran's Apartments and it's on Airbnb and I'll share a link in the description. Here is the entry. You come in this door, you step right in here. There's a fan out here. There's not air conditioning out here, which is a negative um, for me anyway, but there's a fan and it's well appointed, which I like. It has an American coffee maker. It has a French press machine, cutlery, blender, even microwave, full size refrigerator. You can see here a full size gas stove, which you don't always find here. Um, good storage. I'm not planning to be doing any cooking, but it's still nice to see these kinds of things. Got pots, pans, everything. So that's pretty cool. And plates. And here's a thing that also doesn't thrill me is the sink is outside of the actual bathroom. So there's a sink there. Trash can. I prefer sealed trash cans, but this is better than a completely open trash can, especially in the Caribbean. I prefer sealed, sealed trash cans because there's always in, issues with insects. No matter how well sealed the windows are, there's always an issue with insects. So I always prefer a sealed, fully sealed trash cans to even trash cans like this. Right? They're not as easy to find in the Caribbean, but I think that they're the best trash cans to have is just completely sealed ones that you open with your feet. So the bathroom is in here kind of old-fashioned looking and the shower is in here and this is the shower but it's very clean which I like I see open window up here that doesn't thrill me because that's how insects get in I'm gonna close that in a minute can't close it easily but I will close it in a minute and just open it when I need it because that's how insects get in, and I do not like bugs. There are two bedrooms here. So, this first bedroom, and it has air conditioning, but no windows, which doesn't thrill me. I don't like win windowless rooms, but this one has no windows, but it does have storage, which is good, and towels, and a blanket. I will take these off quickly because I don't sleep on decorative pillows or decorative these kinds of things I take them off and I don't use them so we'll, we'll get that off the bed and the next bedroom looks exactly the same it does not have windows it has air conditioning basically the identical setup ironing board in here but identical setup lower bed closet, storage, but no windows. Um, and there's also a pool at the back of the property. It's not a massive pool, but it's a nice dipping pool. And it's very hot here in Tobago. So it's definitely something that I will probably use to cool off because it is toasty outside and I will probably use it, but I prefer going to the beach. So I'll probably go to the beach more than I'll use the pool, but it's nice to know that there is a pool that I can use and I'll show you what that looks like now. Here's a quick look at where the pool is. It's not a massive pool, but it's a pool. Good place to take a dip if it gets really hot outside, but I'll probably just walk my behind to the beach and do that instead. And Quick look at the grounds and my place is near the front but there's several other rentals here of varying sizes but that's a quick look at the place where I'm staying for a couple days while I'm here in Tobago in the Caribbean 
And like I said, it is in Crown Point. Look at the goats across the street. I just think that's such an island thing. It's in Crown Point, Tobago, 10 minute walk to Store Bay Beach, which is nice and probably about a 10 to 15 minute drive to Pigeon Point, which is probably the most beautiful beach in Tobago. And I'll be sharing a separate video of that beach. See you guys in the next video.